Hi there. Um, so I apologize if the lighting is not great, but you know, what can you do in your New York City apartment? Anyway, um, I haven't made a video in like a really long time, like three or four weeks almost, I think. Wow. Um, tomorrow is the first day of June, and for all intents and purposes to me, the first day of my summer assignments for work, which is um, preparing my PhD candidacy exam for the end of August, which I don't know if I'll have time to start even yet for a couple more weeks, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, I have some things to talk about. Um, right now I'm taking a break from watching the National Spelling Bee Finals, which are somewhat riveting. And thanks to the movie Aquila and the Bee, I can spell a lot better now. Um, you should all check that movie out if you haven't seen it before. Pretty good. Anyway, I have some things to talk about. Since my last video, I haven't done a whole lot of fun, exciting things. I have seen two really good movies. Um, I saw Shrek the Third and Pirates of the Caribbean 3, and they're both really good. Um, Pirates is sort of, you know, over, which I'm sort of glad this last one. And, um, yeah, for the rest of it, I mean, Shrek was really good, and it, both movies weren't as good as the first two. Uh, well, Pirates was better than the second one, but not as good as the first. Anyway, so... Uh, definitely check them out if you get a chance. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, that would be cool. Anyway, um, I decided what I, one of the things I wanted to do was talk about the news. Or things that were in the news, like today. Theoretically, then I should make a video every day, but that probably won't happen quite yet. Um, so, basically, there were some things in the news that I wrote down to talk about today, and one of them is the New Hampshire governor signing the bill for civil unions, which, um, okay, that's great. I'm all for that. Um, so I'd like to commend Governor, whatever his name is, of <laughs> New Hampshire for uh, realizing that everyone is a person, and everyone as a person deserves the same rights as everyone else. So I applaud him. Um... It's really interesting, you know, watching the spelling bee, to realize just how uh, m little America, most Americans know about spelling and about the English language, and it's just fascinating to me. And one of the things that I've noticed in recent years, not as much this year, watching the finals right now, there's only about two foreigners, it looks like, but the foreign children tend to do a lot better in the spelling bee for some reason. And I don't know if you've ever noticed this. Asians do particularly well. Indian people do particularly well. And I'm, and I'm always fascinated. I think there's so much to do a psychological study of that, that or something and see why, what is it that makes these people able to spell better? Uh, is it the fact that they can speak a different language and know how to spell in that language? Does that help them? You know, it's just something interesting to think about. Anyway, and the other thing I wrote down to talk about from the news today was Starbucks is officially switching to 2% milk in all of their drinks instead of using whole milk, which I sort of thought was really funny because, um, I mean, you can ask for low-fat milk if you want to. You can ask for skim milk. You can ask for soy milk. It really doesn't matter. Um, but if you don't say anything, they use whole milk, which, um, is, as we all know, is quite fattening. And it's just interesting how um, all these different food companies first, you know, ban trans fats, now it's essentially like banning whole milk from making coffee beverages, at, and let's face it, Starbucks is like a monopoly on the coffee market for all intents and purposes. Anyway, I just thought it was really interesting because, you know, it just goes to show more, like, how, just how fat Americans are compared to other cultures, and they even said that, um, like, there are already places in Europe where Starbucks didn't use whole milk or um, that they were switching to even like skim milk or something. And it's just really fascinating. Um, why exactly is it that Americans are so fat and other, other cultures aren't? And it's just one of those things that everyone sort of knows the answer to but no one really talks about. Anyway, um, I am planning a special video. I wanted to um, put some video clips into it but I can't figure out how to get them off the internet. Um, so I'm going to do a response video to um, a, a study that was done on 60 Minutes, or a piece that was done on 60 Minutes uh, a few weeks ago, I think, called The Science of Sexuality. Um, being a scientist myself, I found it very intriguing, and so I thought I would uh, talk about it. 
So look for that sometime this weekend, probably maybe even tomorrow if I'm bored at work. Um, and anyway, uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope people leave me comments and subscribe to me and whatever. And uh, I'll be talking to some of you soon, I guess. Thanks for watching.